Oh, you see that tail wagon. She's very, very excited about something here in the BT studio, although we can't really be sure. Something over there, I think it's the cheese. We've got a cheese segment coming up. Look at lying down, so pretty, waiting for a treat. Sarah Smith from the Winnipeg Humane Society joining us now to talk a little bit more about Miss Darby. Good morning. Hi. So tell us a little bit about her, her age, her story. Uh, Darby was found as a stray and she is about three years old and she is a pit bull mix, definitely mostly pit bull. Now when you say that breed pit bull, a lot of people kind of tense up a little bit. Talk a little bit about the stigma attached to that. Um, well, you know, I, I really, we can't make any generalizations. Every yeah. dog is different and that's the thing. Every dog has their own personality and what's mostly important is that every person and their pet bonds and, and learns good behavior. We have obedience classes for that kind of thing. So, and exactly, like Darby is a very, very sweet girl, so. Yeah, she's is, wonderful. Yeah. Very, very loving and very sweet and full of energy. She needs someone that's gonna run with her and keep up. Definitely, yes, and absolutely. Be and because she is a pit bull, you do have to be careful where you adopt from. You have to live in a certain municipality. Right, she can't be adopted inside of Winnipeg. So okay. you have to check with your RM to make sure that it's okay for you to have a pit bull. Um, she has actually been with us for 100 days because it's harder to adopt out pit bulls because nobody in Winnipeg can adopt them. So, and also uh, Darby is a special case because she has food allergies. So she needs okay. to have special food for the rest of her life. So the person who's going to adopt her needs to be aware of that as well. Other than special food though, no major concerns. It's no, pretty easy to manage the allergies. Absolutely, she's wonderful. And only about three years old, so still lots and lots of life left. And we want to talk about a huge event coming up, Pause in Motion. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, Pause in Motion is coming up on June 23rd. Okay. It's going to be in Assiniboine Park uh, and it's a fundraiser for our spay and neuter program. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year. And while pets are encouraged and allowed to come, you do not have to have a pet to come. No. Um, people might think that because it's a dog friendly or a pet friendly event that you need to have a pet to come. That's not true. The only requirement to participate in Pause in Motion and fundraise is a love of animals and Aww. a desire to make a difference in your community. It's so, pretty easy um, criteria to take part. Exactly. <laughs> and we have kind of a five-point plan for how to get started and uh, to make sure that you're successful and you do raise some money for the Winnipeg Humane Society. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so the first one, be organized and plan ahead. Yep, absolutely. I mean, think about what you want to do. Think about how much time. There's less than two months now to fundraise, mm -hmm. and it's not that hard at all. I've been sending out emails here and there to my friends and family. Awesome. And be loud and proud. Yep, absolutely. I mean, it, everything helps. I mean, with social media these days, it's so easy to share with everybody what you're doing and to tell everyone, uh, you know, that you're raising money for the Humane Society and why it's important. And a few things, be informed, double your donations, plan an event for yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, people can, at their work, uh, fundraise with their coworkers. You can have some kind of like an event day at your work if you want, or you can uh, do a garage sale to support the Humane Society or even have a social or something like that. That's easy and yeah. fun. Lots of ways to help out and lots of ways to raise money for Paws in Motion coming up in just a couple of months. And if you want to know more about Darby or you want to just meet her and if she might be the right fit for your home, you can visit her at the Humane Society at 45 Hearst Way. Such a pretty girl. We're taking a quick break here on BT. Stay with us.